Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mods tutorials. Today we are doing part three of the projectile mechanic. Still don't know why my screen shakes like that. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be covering all the new features added in version 4.7.0. So there's uh, it's a lot of exciting stuff. There's actually not much stuff, but the stuff that is added is pretty exciting. So before we get started, as always, make sure to hop on down over into my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. Uh, there's always community uh, stuff going on, lots of questions being answered. Uh, really cool showcases, especially as of lately. Like, holy cow, the stuff in my showcases has just been like, it went from zero to 100 real fast. So, uh, yeah, there's also giveaways. Uh, I have my mob packs there, a bunch of player servers if you're interested in looking for a server to, you know, play on, spend time on, whatever the case. All in my Discord channel, so make sure to join today. Anyway. Now that I've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So, what I have gone, uh, set up right here is my typical mob, as you can see. But I added a few extra things. Uh, I added an AI target selector because I have a dummy down here, which, don't worry, it's literally just a copy and paste of this. You can just like copy and paste it down there and same thing. So, um, I have it targeting monsters because I do not have... Or, I found it easier to just make a dummy monster so that way, you know, <laughs> the mob will stop shooting at me all the time. Plus, I have a second monitor set up now so I can actually show you guys like a third person view of what it looks like uh, and make my tutorial so much better, so yay. Anyway, um, so what I got going on here is four different projectile skills and you can tell by the names what they're gonna be based around. Arrow projectile, block projectile, item projectile, and mob projectile, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, or actually, if you need to take a moment to pause the video to type all this out, please make sure to do so. Uh, you can uh, actually just go ahead and include these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and untick this one here, and you're gonna jump over into our skill file because, well, that's where all the action takes place. So, here we have. I'm just gonna move my real quick. Uh, we have our arrow projectile, and this is following the new stuff. Uh, all the new stuff I will have listed down here uh, in the notes whenever you download the mob pack or the tutorial pack I mean I will continue to leave notes like this in future stuff uh, if need be uh, This thing like the reason these are in here is because these are not currently in the manual right now So uh, I, I literally like copied and pasted this from the changelog. I Figured it could help that was sorry. There's a weird vehicle on my window right now. Um yeah, I figured it could help. It definitely helped me out. It's gonna help me out with this tutorial, but let's go ahead and get back to the main point. So, our first projectile type, we have a bullet type of arrow. Now what that's gonna do is it's literally gonna fire off an arrow, and uh, I'm gonna pick a color here. I already have a pre-made thing, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and re-maximize these. If you need to copy all this stuff down, uh, I guess it's kinda hard to copy. I. Uh, there, I'll just scroll for you. If you need to copy that stuff down, take a minute to pause the video to copy it all down, you can. I literally just copied and pasted this, but then added different uh, bullet types and plus a new option for materials. So uh, we'll get back to all that shortly. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do our projectiles tick. Like any projectile, this is literally just the fancy effect particles that come out of it. So we're gonna do something kind of bluish green. I think 0099FF should be fine. And the hit, we're just gonna do typical damage. So yay, look, I already got it typed out. It's almost like I did this tutorial before but it stopped working on me. So, with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and reload after you've saved, of course. Make sure I even saved. Okay, I saved. Okay, so, now we're gonna spawn in our two mobs. And spawn projectile dummy. That's not the right one. And I'm spawn projectile zombie. And, uh, I'm, I'm spawn zombie dummy. Okay. So this guy is looking to pick a fight with that guy. So if we go ahead and right click him. Oh, there's an armor stand in the way. Kill projectile dummy. Whoops, okay. There we go. Let me get a better view on the other monitor here. Okay, so. As you can see, he's being shanked in the back with arrows. I actually have no idea why he's looking that way, but he is. So, eh, it's okay. But basically, that's what the arrow does. It's just like a fancy arrowhead to the front of your projectile. Next, we're gonna be covering the block one. Yay, okay, so. Uh, we're gonna go into our mob file. We're gonna tick this one and we're gonna untick the next one. 
after that, uh, we have some new stuff here. As you can see, bullet type equals block, and then we have a material equals option, which we have not filled out. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to blue concrete. Uh, I don't think it has to be in all caps, I'm just used to doing it that way because it used to require it, so. Uh, we're gonna reload, and check this out, ready? Wham, he's throwing giant blue blocks at our enemy here. How cool is that? And of course, you can use literally any block in the game. I'm just using blue concrete because it's very, very visible and noticeable. And it fits the blue theme pretty well. So, uh, if you do that, you are going to want to adjust your particles to Y equals 0.5 to make it more centered, for example. Yeah, doesn't that look a lot better? I think it does. Okay, so, now that we got that one out of the way, we're gonna move on to the item projectile. Uh, so what you're gonna see with the item projectile is, um, instead of seeing a giant blue block like that, what you're gonna see at the head of it is this. It will not levitate like this, don't worry, but it will still spin. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. So let me go ahead and just add that in right here. Blue concrete, concrete, there we go. Okay, we're gonna reload. Uh, we're gonna fix our mob, cause I totally forgot to do that. We're gonna untick this one. Now we're gonna reload again, because whoops. And as you can see, it's just, <laughs> it looks like he's throwing blue pebbles at him. Uh, of course, at that point, you're gonna wanna fix your uh, your uh, particles again. So you're gonna wanna pretty much just get rid of that Y value there. Reload and, well, bam, it's fixed. All good. Now, there is one thing, um, this might throw it off. I've had a lot of people asking me, how do you do wither skulls as a uh, as a projectile bullet? Well, I will show you. So you can either do that here where you type out wither skeleton skull. Should work. Yeah, there we go. It's got a little bit of a spin to it though. So it's probably not the best thing. Oh, let me. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a spin to it, but like, I guess if you have the gist of it, most people would be okay. But if you want the face to face it, well, we will get right to that. So what we're gonna do last is our mob projectile. So we're gonna tick this, we're gonna untick that. And for this, you can use any mob you want. You can use vanilla mobs even, you can use custom mobs. Uh, we're gonna use a projectile dummy and I need to set a new thing there here, which is gonna be like, Item head equals custom skelly, I guess. Because I just remembered for an armor stand, we have to make the um, item ourselves. So I'm going to take a moment to type that up real quick. Okay, I got it typed out here. And now, let me go ahead and make sure it worked right. I'm going to reload. And I'm going to spawn in the dummy. Uh, projectile dummy. Okay, looks like it worked. We are back in business. Okay, so um, we got our mob projectile set here. And now here, we're gonna have bullet type equals mob. And now we're gonna need to type in our mob name, which we called projectile dummy. Uh, wow. What am I doing? Projectile dummy. Okay, once we reload, we're gonna fire it. Look at that, he's shooting wither skulls. Um, yeah, I think they're facing kind of. No, he's shooting, hmm, is he? He's shooting black concrete for some odd reason. That's really weird. Um, let me make sure that, yeah, my projectile. Did I type something wrong? Projectile dummy. Huh, weird. Well, I promise you ladies and gentlemen, this does work. Because I actually had it working right before the uh, thing started. So, um, hmm. That's very strange. Maybe it just didn't update. So there are some things with using a mob as a projectile is that it will not always update right away. I'm not sure what causes this, but this has been a known thing uh, ever since the bullet types were released. Um, you might have to reload a few times before it actually works. Uh, I think it might be defaulting the black concrete just because it doesn't recognize whether a skeleton skull as a material for some reason. Uh, even though it's shooting a mob that literally has it dead now um that has a thing for it, as you can see so it will work you just gotta like reload and just kind of come back to it after a while um yeah so ooh, that's how i went to spawn oops and then i'm spawn 
Zombie dummy? Yeah, zombie dummy. Okay, there we go. Attack yo friend. Anyway, so that's pretty much the big gist of it, but I am gonna do one more thing because I will really want to show you guys something pretty spectacular. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna set this to false because we want to be able to see our armor stand here. So, now that we got that out of the way, um, we're gonna add a different thing here. A new option called bullet spin. This only affects um, mob projectiles. This does not affect items, blocks, or arrows. Just letting you know right now. I will also add that to the notes, but at the end of this video, when the video's over. Don't worry, it'll be there, I promise. Okay, so bullet spin. You, I think 10 is a fairly decent, um, fairly decent amount of get out of here. So, let me go ahead and reload. And let's see. Yeah, okay. It looks like it's still hitting the armor stand, so let me and kill a uh, projectile dummy. There we go, okay. So as you can see from my screen, and you can see from the other one too, that it's it's spinning a good amount. Now you can make it go pretty wild if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna set it to 100, we're gonna reload. Oh yeah, it's going so fast that it's not even loading the head anymore. <laughs> so. Uh, it's trying to keep up, but it can't. That's and you know what? That's okay. So we're gonna reload and uh, Yeah, okay. Actually, I think it's because we took the head off didn't we? Yeah, we took the head off Um, yeah given that it's wait. That's why that wasn't working now. They think about it. Just we're gonna do Small true, okay, that should fix it uh, Theoretically and like I said it doesn't always as you can see that's proof right there We gave its head back and we set it to small, but it didn't update um that's my proof that you are gonna have to reload a few times and yeah okay so it's only appearing black because it's like in the ground which is uh not really something i can fully f fix to be honest with you uh let's go ahead and try one thing while i'm recording we're gonna experiment a little bit here we're gonna add a new thing called hug surface equals true and we are gonna see if that makes a difference no <laughs> that just sank it further in the ground okay so um there are some situations in which it'll work okay uh, it's pretty hard to mess with this. Uh, there is one more thing I totally forgot to go over, but we're going to go over it right now. So, when you're using the block type as a projectile, do not, I repeat, do not ever use it as a meteor. Unless you're going for something really cool, which I will show you. But in most cases, just trust me, it's better not to use it. I'm going to pull you back on screen, assuming I don't kill him. And just, yeah, get back in there. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guys be able to see that one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in a new thing. We're gonna type in type equals meteor, gravity equals two, and height from surface equals 15. So this is why, oh, I just remember we gotta reload in mob file too. Um, block projectile. Okay, now we're gonna reload. Okay, so this is why you don't want to use the block as a meteor as you can see it falls and it hits him but then it just stacks blocks in your world and if you're in an arena this means you'll have to constantly go in and uh, break it every single time which can get pretty uh, obnoxious so I, I really don't recommend doing it unless you plan on a, a mob doing something like this but otherwise uh, it's just kind of in your best interest to avoid it, or if you're doing meteors, just just don't even bother with the bullet type being a block. You can do items and it'll be okay, but um, as a block, it's just best not to. Like here, I'll show you as a uh, thing. Yeah, see, see, so as an item, it looks okay, but as a block, this this happens. So I just don't recommend it personally, but that's entirely up to you. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. If you like this tutorial or inspired you, make sure to leave a like uh, and subscribe for more future goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, again, if there's a lot anything else you want to see covered, make sure to comment down below or join in my Discord server. I do have a channel for tutorial suggestions, so I'm taking any and every. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.